Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. Uh, today we have invited a very special person, Olga, who is chairman and co-founder of Smart Baylor. Welcome. Thank you, David. Good to be here. <laughs> Good to be here. Okay, so let's get into the interview. Uh, please briefly introduce yourself as Smart Baylor to Token Post users. <laughs> so my name is Olga Feldma. I'm uh, one of co-founders and board chairman mm -hmm. of Smart Valor. Um, I'm background. I was actually before that a banker. I used to work for Barclays Capital and UBS. Mm -hmm. But the last 10 years, mm -hmm. I'm in crypto, mm -hmm. long time uh, crypto pioneer, <laughs> so <laughs> to say. Pioneer, yeah. uh, I'm originally from Ukraine, but I live most of my life in Germany and Switzerland. Germany. Okay. And about Smart Valor, Smart Valor so yeah. Smart, Smart Valor <laughs> is a technology company focusing on um, in intersection mm -hmm. of Web3 blockchain technologies and, and artificial intelligence mm -hmm. uh, technology. Um, our core business is um, uh, digital asset exchange, exchange. and uh, we're known as a publicly listed yeah. company. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, even though Smart Baylor is a European company, uh, it is really well known here in Korea. Yeah, because it, it became the first digital asset exchange in Europe to receive approval from Nasdaq. Uh, so you guys have listed on Nasdaq last year, and you are still the only one exchange in Europe which listed on Nasdaq. In a worldwide, there are only two crypto exchanges listed on Nasdaq, yours and Coinbase. So why it is like this? Well, it's like this. Yeah. So there are basically two reasons, you two know. Reasons. One is, of course, you know, like, you know, the status of publicly listed companies connected mm -hmm. to fulfilling a lot of requirements mm -hmm. um, as you go, right? Mm -hmm. So just to name a few, you need to publish financial statements quarterly, right? Okay. So every three months. Mm -hmm. Um, you need to go through full financial audit mm -hmm. where, you know, everything that you do is screened, mm -hmm. bank accounts, statements, yeah. everything, right? Uh, you need to have independent board, you're mm -hmm. subject to market abuse regulation and so mm -hmm. on and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's very long list, mm -hmm. right? So you need to play by the mm -hmm. rule and be very transparent, mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, not easy to do for small companies. Yeah. This is actually one of huge companies, huge, yeah. right? Go for that. Um, and we did it because, you know, we wanted to show that crypto can be done in a super compliant mm -hmm. way, right? Mm -hmm. Like the best practice. Mm -hmm. So it, that was actually the mm -hmm. point. Um, but the other reason why there are so few companies yeah. is Only that, two. <laughs> you know, the Wall Street doesn't really want us, yeah. right? <laughs> the banks are still um, in many parts against crypto companies. Mm -hmm. So the moment when we were preparing for listing, mm -hmm. you know, um, in 2021, mm -hmm. right? Um, like, for example, just give you one example. Uh, when you list on NASDAQ, uh, the securities needs to be cleared through Euroclear, mm -hmm. and Euroclear has only certain banks it mm -hmm. works with. Mm -hmm. And you need to associate and open accounts in those oh. banks, right? So, for example, at that moment, all of those banks mm -hmm. um, had a no crypto company policy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So they would not even open an account for you. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you, like, even make it happen? Mm -hmm. So that's, and that's just one of those hurdles. Mm -hmm. So it was really, really difficult to difficult do. Difficult to do. Uh, okay, the second question is that, uh, do you feel that the status Nasdaq public company benefits your business today? Yeah, finally, today. Mm, finally today. <laughs> it wasn't like that. Mm. So, but, but, you know, after FTX happened mm -hmm. uh, last year, you know, this is where people start, started to realize that, yeah, it, you know, it means something when the company is reporting yeah. financial mm -hmm. statements and is, you know, subject to all the rules mm -hmm. and complying mm -hmm. with all the rules. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we notice that post FTX, whereas, you know, a lot of exchanges, centralized exchanges, mm -hmm. suffered from withdrawal mm -hmm. of funds, mm -hmm. right? Um, we had no withdrawals, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually in the opposite, right? We had more users registering mm -hmm. because now they feel, oh, okay, well, regulated, mm -hmm. you know, NASDAQ listed, mm -hmm. like all this regulation has a benefit. Mm -hmm. So you keep the user more credential on, on that path, right? Exactly, yeah. and, and more trust, more right? trust on because there. Because like even just, you know, 
full financial audit. Like we had people, 25 people involved in audit, mm -hmm. looking at all the processes, wow. all the documents, wow. all mm -hmm. bank statements, mm -hmm. right? It's a big supervision, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is, you know, hard work mm -hmm. for us, but it's good for transparency, transparency. and trust. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Uh, but how about the current environment? The volumes are down across most exchanges as the crypto winter becomes a prolonged one. Yeah, it's it's difficult situation mm. for mm. all of us, right? Uh, a lot of regulated exchanges mm. suffer from, you know, uh, reduction in volumes is the same for us. Mm -hmm. um, but on the other side, you know, um, even before we're going into the crypto winter, mm -hmm. we made a decision to diversify our mm -hmm. business model. Mm -hmm. So today, retail exchange mm -hmm. for, you know, private mm -hmm. investors, mm -hmm. this is just one of three mm. uh, businesses for mm. us. And next to retail exchange, mm. we have uh, B2B business with mm. banks. Mm. So we ba basically give our technology to mm. the banks mm. so that banks can offer digital assets to their customers, mm. right? So we, we do the integrations mm. with banks. Mm. Um, and the third business is Exchange API mm -hmm. um, platform where we basically, you know, um, settle the transactions mm -hmm. for merchants mm -hmm. and uh, payment networks. Mm -hmm. And this is very well known uh, example in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So in Switzerland, mm -hmm. that's, you know, the crypto nation yeah, yeah, and crypto, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, crypto Valley. Mm -hmm. So in Switzerland, uh, national railway mm -hmm. services, mm -hmm. um, every ticket machine mm -hmm. Um, of where, where people buy tickets, mm. they can also buy at the same machine Bitcoin. Mm. Day and night, 24-7, right? wow. wow. for cash or card, uh, uh, right? And this is, for example, also powered by Smart Valor, smart right? And that's mm. an example where we mm. deploy our mm. Exchange API platform, mm. right? This is all exciting, but you know what I'm super happy about? Uh, uh, uh. A lot of people also in Korea know us as, you know, visionary for security tokens. Uh -huh. We started in 2017. Seven, right. One of the first, mm. we wanted to be a platform mm -hmm. for security mm -hmm. tokens, but regulation was slow, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't literally possible. Mm -hmm. And just this year, after five years mm -hmm. of work, European Parliament, um, uh, you know, uh, signed off the regulation for mm -hmm. digital securities, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Took a while, and now we're applying for mm -hmm. this license, and I'm very happy that we are back to the original vi mm -hmm. vision of security tokens. Wow, wow. Cool. great, great. Finally. <laughs> yeah, sounds promising, right? <laughs> so uh, now you're in Seoul. So what brings you here, actually? Well, yeah. a lot of reasons. I love Korea. I love mm -hmm. Korean people. Mm -hmm. I love Seoul. It's, for me, this is the city of the future. Mm -hmm. uh, really excited uh, to be here. But this time, it's, of course, Korean Blockchain Week, Keep right? It, yeah. This is where the world comes to Korea, <laughs> yeah. so I have to be here. Um, and on the other side, you know, we um, recently announced um, um, the Web3 AI project that oh. we've been working for yeah. a while, uh, 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 Elon AI. Elon AI. And okay. of course, I wanted to share the news. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's, it sounds like AI project, right? So tell me, could you tell me more about the Elon AI? Yeah, so Elon AI, first of all, the name, you AI. might think about <laughs> Elon Musk, has nothing to do with Elon Musk. Okay. It stands actually uh -huh. for Enhanced Language Oriental, Oriented mm. uh, Neutral Neural Networks, right? Neural networks. So it's basically the essence, mm. the, the fundamental layers mm. of AI technology. Mm. And what it does, mm. you know, it, it's basically, you can imagine, as a, you know, meta layer mm. between the user mm. and the world of digital assets, mm. whereas, you know, user can transact mm. and receive, you know, information and recommendations on investment and mm. actions mm. through this meta layer. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's difficult to understand. Yeah. It's kind of like, like, you know, the users oh. have the flexibility to, um, to integrate uh, MetaMask, mm. Exchange Wallets, mm. you know, Ledger, mm. integrated all into this, all things, um, yeah. in, in this basically, you know, mm. meta layer and transact mm. in a natural language. Mm. So you can basically mm. tell mm. the program what to do yeah. and it will execute. Okay. So, so it is not a wallet, right? Not a wallet, right? So uh, Yeah, well, yes and no. It's, uh. it's kind of like a maybe sounds like a wallet, but uh -huh. it's not a wallet. Like a wallet. You can connect any wallet mm -hmm. to this, mm -hmm. right? Um, and it basically has two components, right? Mm -hmm. So one component is the interactive transaction layer, mm -hmm. right? 
and it's basically you know based or, or built around the concept of natural um, language processing mm -hmm. and large language models mm -hmm. you know which basically translates the nuanced difficult mm -hmm. human language mm -hmm. into machine readable mm -hmm. and executable mm -hmm. transactions mm -hmm. and transaction instructions mm -hmm. right um, so basically you don't need to make the transactions the way yeah. you, yeah. you we are now doing this mm -hmm. and all this mess with mm -hmm. DeFi and mm -hmm. you don't know what you're doing and where you're sending mm -hmm. your tokens mm -hmm. It basically you can you can tell Hell. this software. So please find me the best uh, opportunities mm -hmm. to buy to diversify my one Bitcoin into mm -hmm. ten mm -hmm. uh, different uh, mm -hmm. layer one okay. protocols, okay. right? Yeah. And it goes and executes, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Without you doing this really, uh -huh. right? Wow. So that's really next generation in terms of user experience, yeah. right? Uh -huh. The problems that yeah. we have yeah. In, yeah. in DeFi and in mm -hmm. crypto today. Mm -hmm. And the second component is mm -hmm. basically. Um, a deep dive AI mm -hmm. based analytics, right? Where, you know, um, based on the concept of machine learning, okay. uh, the tool goes out and, and screens all the new social media on chain analytics, mm -hmm. off chain data, mm -hmm. what's going on in the mm -hmm. market, mm -hmm. right? And comes up with uh, personalized suggestions so what to do yep, based okay. on your portfolio, okay. based on your request. Uh -uh. You can say, hey, Ellen, tell me is this a good day to buy or sell Bitcoin? Sell Bitcoin. <laughs> and it will screen all the data and uh, uh, come up uh, uh, with uh. a suggestion. Wow, wow. So that's cool, that's cool. really, yeah. I think the, you know, the investment oh. experience yeah. is going to be transformed so dramatically wow. in the next couple of years. Uh -huh. We will all be just relaxing <laughs> there on the sofa and say, yeah, Alan or whoever, execute. Yeah. You know? Wow, great. That's, yeah, very so, exciting. Yeah. So, 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 so which problem is it, is it solving? We are, we are using that, that AR, Elon AI. The main problem, yes, exactly this. You see, we've been complaining in crypto, everybody. Yeah. Oh, the biggest hurdle to mass adoption mm. is usability, usability okay. and complexity, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is what AI, AI came to, to Super solve. Easily to you already see it today with ChatGPT, how easy mm -hmm. it is to do anything, it, right? Yeah. This is just the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be so much bigger and so mm -hmm. much better applications mm -hmm, are going to be mm -hmm. built using this large, mm. large language mm. models, right? And of course, the information, mm. the overflow, like who has the capacity to study all the news and what YouTubers are saying and yeah. what researchers are saying mm -hmm. and uh, Bitcoin's moving on, on exchanges of, like, like, this is just impossible, yeah. right? And this is where AI finally arrived to help us. Wow, cool. So how is the project organized, the Elon AI? We give it a very long thought, you know. Mm -hmm. um, there are two alternatives, mm -hmm. right? Just proprietary software mm -hmm. or open source, mm -hmm. right? Um, and we arrived at the conclusion, you know, that that it needs to be open source decentralized mm -hmm. project, mm -hmm. right? Um, because you see, it's kind of like, well, maybe first of all, let me give you an overview what what's our role, yeah, right? Yeah. Smart valor. Mm -hmm. So we. We act today as an um, initiator, yeah. right? So we started mm -hmm. the project and also as a core developer, mm -hmm. let's say, right? Um, but, you know, as the project evolves and towards the first iteration of the product, mm -hmm. we're going to open up this ecosystem and involve external developers, mm -hmm. community, and just make it really open source mm -hmm. project. Mm -hmm. Open source project. So, so why, why this form of like governance? Why? Mm. There are basically two reasons, two reasons you okay. know. Um, first of all, like everything that we see today in the space of uh, uh, generative AI mm. is just the beginning, mm. right? Like, like the progress mm. in AI, artificial intelligence technology space is exponential, mm. right? So it's not even, you know, my predictions. There are much more smarter people in the space <laughs> than me. And everybody agrees, you know, that probably within a decade, mm artificial intelligence will overtake yep. human intelligence, mm. right? Really soon, yeah. Exactly. Mm. What does it mean mm. that the tools that we build today, mm. they're so powerful, mm. right? So if you give it into the hands of, you know, government mm. or big tech companies mm. or like literally any um, centralized mm. entity, yeah. right? Mm. That this could mean, you know, more control, mm. potential misuse, mm. and so on, right? Mm -hmm. So these powerful tools needs to be in the hand of community, mm. right? Yeah. Um, on one side, mm. right? But on Others. the other side, it's actually, you know, 
how do we build mm. an excellent AI mm. tools? Mm. How, how do we even achieve that? A, it needs a lot of resources. Mm. B, it needs a lot of data and intelligence. Yeah. What is special in Web3? The special thing in Web3 is that we have is that we have a way to build in a decentralized way. Yeah. And in the way that, for example, you know, like, yes, we need a lot of user data, mm. proprietary mm. data, mm. right? Mm. This, the model is better when we have, this, when we have all of your transaction yeah. details, all of mine, all of the individual mm. users, mm. right? But how to share these details without compromising mm. um, uh, privacy mm. and, and, you know, the information. A lot of, of the huddles user. on there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we have in Web3 this concept of federated yeah. learning, mm -hmm. zero knowledge proofs. Yeah. Like, this is the advantage of Web3 mm. technology. We have the technology in place to build decentralized um, applications mm -hmm. on decentralized mm -hmm. data, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. To build a better model without compromising mm -hmm. privacy mm -hmm. of, the of mm -hmm. people, right? So that's amazing. We can involve people in training AI mm -hmm. models, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not, you know, partially you need like machine learning mm -hmm. engineers and all mm -hmm. the AI experts, mm -hmm. right? And we started to hire them, mm -hmm. we started okay. to build the product. <laughs> but also it needs just people like you and me, David, uh, uh, who are just, you know, occasional traders yeah. and can help to train large language models, yeah. we all can contribute. Mm -hmm. How are we gonna do it if we just, you know, build a proprietary company? Uh, it's not possible, mm -hmm. it needs to be open mm -hmm. source, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It will mean mm -hmm. a better product. Mm -hmm. Wow, this sounds really visionary. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. what does it mean for Smart Baylor and its current stakeholders? Uh, Baylor token is listed on Bitdom, as much as I know. Yeah. Yes, yes, for a long time actually. And, you know, for us as a, uh, companies that means of course you know exciting new chapter mm -hmm. in even more disruptive mm -hmm. technology mm -hmm. right I mean blockchain and web 3 that mm -hmm. was already quite a groundbreaking yeah. but AI is this is like you know again a next layer mm -hmm. um, so for us the team is excited you know of course it's like a new chapter mm -hmm. so this is great for our stakeholders for the lower uh, token holders mm -hmm. I mean you know this is in any case very privileged group of you know um, uh, crypto holders because mm -hmm. how many companies has mm -hmm. a status of mm -hmm. publicly listed mm -hmm. company and mm -hmm. are protected by mm -hmm. all the regulations mm -hmm. that is burdening yeah. the public companies, mm -hmm. right? So that's in any case good place to be but plus additionally, you know, Smart Valor will remain the, the developer mm -hmm. of, of Elon AI, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is like, like a core developer and we're contributing resources, we're building up mm -hmm. the product but also we have capabilities, we as an exchange, we have KYC, we have fiat on ramp, mm -hmm. we have, you know, uh, all the, the transactional systems and regulation. And mm -hmm. these capabilities we will bring into mm -hmm. Elon AI, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And with that, we will enhance the utility of a Lord token mm -hmm. and, and basically, you know, uh, extend, you know, the, the range of the technologies yeah, uh, which uh. stand behind the mm -hmm. Lord token. Wow, great, great. Yeah. Uh, as a last question, uh, do you have any last comment to our Korean viewers? Yes, of course. You know, I spoke to a lot of people mm. here during the conference, mm. and I, unfortunately, I mm. feel partially kind of like, you know, resentment and, and a bit disappointment, oh. you know, um, about the development of the yep. crypto market, but mm. also what happened with Luna, Terra Luna, <laughs> and so on, right? Sure. Like, and, and I would like to say that, you know, of course, there are bad players, mm. right? But what you guys should not, you know, take it on yourself, right? Yeah. Throw it away. There is in every industry bad players, this mm. happens, but it has nothing to do with Korean community, mm. with Korean builders. Mm -hmm. There are mm. amazing projects, there are amazing people that build. Mm. You guys are one of the, like, we're looking up to you, you know? <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. like, Korea is yeah. like the most active community, yeah. the most active traders, right? So remember this, you are driving the world. We all look up to you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we wish our <laughs> countries would be so active and, and so at the forefront of happening, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So just, just keep believing in it. We are, doing, we are gr building a great technology. Mm -hmm. We are building great companies mm -hmm. and the future is ours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you so much for your time, Ms. Olga. And yeah. Great to be here. Good to thank be you, here, yeah. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, that was Olga, chairman and co-founder of Smart Failure. Thank you. <laughs>